Hello friends, welcome to Dating, Marriage and Life Stories with Kansi Me. Thank you so much for choosing this channel as your source of information. Welcome to all our returning guests. You are so amazing. Thank you for the support so far. For all the new guests, thank you so much for coming and choosing this channel as your source of information. Kindly look at the subscribe button. If you are not subscribed, I am asking you right now, kindly, kindly subscribe because that is the only energy that you will give me to keep giving you more and more information. God bless you as you listen. Today we are looking at a very interesting topic. I am so determined that you must be in relationships and these relationships must be happy. You know how it feels like when you, you're dating this person and you're so happy and the man is so crazy about you and then you're finally married and then this man doesn't want to see you, to talk to you again. And then this man doesn't need you. And then he's running away from the home. What is it that happens as soon as you're married and then the man doesn't want to see you again? We are looking at uh, four things today. Four things that every man needs from his lady. Four things that you will do that will keep your relationship very exciting. That will keep your relationship very good that even when uh, you know even when your spouse is not there you will still miss each other can we have such a relationship yes we can have such a relationship if and only if we both agree that i will do a hundred percent in marriage there is no 50 50 the woman do your a hundred percent and then the man do your a hundred percent you will meet at that point of 100 a hundred and a hundred, they will make one hundred in marriage. So don't say, I will do this, he will do this. No. Do your journey all through. Now, we'll look, in my past video, we talked about the things that you will do to keep a lady so in love with you. Today, let's look at the lady's turn. What are those things that you will do to keep your man, you know, so in love with you? And the four things that a man needs from his lady. What are those things? They are quite a lot, but I am bringing out uh, four, four of them, and I have grouped them like this. Number one, every gentleman needs a lady who is attractive, who has good character, who is very hygienic. Now, it's very different, difficult to separate those. Once you have the good looks and the character is missing, and then you have the good looks and the character, and then the hygiene is missing, no man will stand you. What do I mean? Even if you are, God has created everyone very beautiful. Even if you don't rank yourself beautiful, like, you know, of course, there are those people that we know, they are Miss Uganda, Miss Africa, Miss who. But in my own way, what are those things that I'm going to do to make sure that I'm attractive? I will dress very well. I will choose clothes which fit me very well. And I will be selective in what I wear, the things that will enhance my looks and then my character. No man will marry you even if you're beautiful, but your character is so wild. You are the one who is shouting. You know you embarrass the man everywhere you go. No man will stand you. And even if you have the good character and you have you are attractive, and then you are lazy, you are so dirty. No man will stand you. So those three things come together. Attraction, character, and hygiene. Have that package as number one. Number two. Men want freedom and respect. A woman who despises a man, you can never keep him. No man will allow a woman who is disrespectful. In fact, he will run away. You hear men who run away and they are in love with, with their maids. Yes, I'm not saying maids are not human beings. They're also human beings. But he will, the maids will respect the boss. You know, those small, small girls around town, they will respect him. When you disrespect a man, he feels less of a man. And what is he going to do is to look for someone who will prove to him that he's really a man. And that is going to be someone more junior than you. That is why men say, hey, how come he left me and then he decided to go for this? He should have gone for a higher one. No, you disrespected him and he didn't. He went for another one to respect him. And then about the, the freedom. A man marrying you does not make him, you know, like a car and battery that he must stick around you all the time. No. 
a man must have the freedom to go out with the boys. He must have the freedom to do his other things. He might have the freedom. Don't police him around. First of all, you're not his mother. So why are you policing him? You're not a car that is a battery that when he's not around, you cannot move. Stop policing your husbands. Give him the freedom to be who he is. He doesn't have to get lost. He doesn't have to disappear because he married you. So give him respect and freedom. He will come back to you a hundred percent. Any man given freedom, he will come back to you. In fact, he will even desire to carry you along so that you can go with him and you enjoy it together. Number three, every man needs to be appreciated and affirmed. Appreciation and affirmation. If a man is doing things and you're not appreciating, he buys you something small. He's taking care of the, of the home. He's buying food. He's buying clothes for the children. He's paying school fees. You don't just sit there and watch and you say, okay, you paid there, your children. No, thank him. Thank him for paying school fees. Thank him for buying you things. Thank him for loving you. Thank him for everything, for making you feel special, for choosing you among us all other people. So thank your man and make him feel appreciated and affirm him. A man who leaves his house and he's not affirmed, he will go on the streets in the office and he will be like there. You know, you abuse a man and you're not, you're telling him all the negative things, the very negative energy. It destroys him. He will be there like lost and confused. So when my husband is living in the house, the first thing he needs to know is that he looks good. He's smart. Oh, I can't wait for, you know, he is good. And so affirm your man. And don't be that angry. In the past videos, we talked about anger. It will destroy your marriage. Affirm your man. If he's smart, affirm him. He does everything small. Tell him he is the best. Tell him you feel secure in his presence. Tell him he, you feel so blessed to have him. I've told my husband so many times when it's the two of us, I feel so blessed to be his wife. And so he knows that above all things, I appreciate him 100%. And number four, which is the last one and the most important one, give him very good sex. Now, that is an area you cannot joke with. Give him sex and good. Prepare yourself for it. If you need to eat food and you have energy, do it. If you need to clean your, your, your womanhood, clean. Detox your body so that you don't go in the bed and you're eh, smelling and you're gassing and you're bloated and everything. Detox your system. Prevent um, yeast infections. Prevent fungal infections. Prevent UTIs. And we'll talk, we'll talk about our next video, uh, how to prevent... Uh, UTIs, using natural remedies in the home. Let prevention be your lifestyle. So give him good sex. That one, if you fail, even if you have all the four above, you will not have your man. So the things that men need, we'll summarize them. Number one, attraction, character, and good hygiene. Number two, give him respect and give him some level of freedom. Number three, Give him appreciation and affirmation. Let him feel man enough right from the house. Number four, give him very good sex. Men feed off that. So give it to him really good and let him step out feeling like he's a tiger. As he's going out of the home, work him out so hard that he's not going to, to desire anything else. Thank you so much. Kindly subscribe. God bless you. See you another time.